Hi, we wanted to create a short video to show you how to install a VTEC W960 wireless thermostat on a Seasons PTAC unit. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to shut down the power, uh, remove the cover, and then we can check to make sure that if we're going to install on, if this is a conventional or a heat pump unit. So, shut the power down, remove the cover. So. If you're not sure where to find the model number, you can always find it here on the label on the front of the unit. Uh, you'll see the model uh, begin with SP, then the, the size, and then the fifth digit is either E for a conventional system or H for heat pump. Okay, so before you begin, there's a few essential tools that you'll need to have on hand before you to, in order to get started. One, you'll need to have a Phillips head screwdriver. You need to have a um, precision screwdriver as well as your Android that has the EC tool app for provisioning on it. Uh, you'll also need to make sure that you have a, a, a Type-C terminated USB cable. We're going to go ahead and install the, the controller on the PTAC unit itself so we'll power down the unit and remove the cover. So with the cover removed, now you can use your screwdriver to remove the uh, thermostat wiring access panel. So you'll want to remove these two screws using a screwdriver. Now you can access your thermostat interface panel. So now we'll want to convert the unit from face control to wireless or wired thermostat control by changing the dip switches located in here. So you'll notice the dip switch labels are on the board below the switch. So we'll want to change S3 to on, which is up, and S9, which is over here, will go to the down position. Now it's time to wire the, the VTEC controller harness into the PTAC unit. You'll notice that all the labels are noted below each terminal. Once you've installed your wiring harness, this is what it should look like for a conventional system. Once you've applied your wiring harness for your heat pump, this is what your wiring should look like. All right, now that your wiring harness is installed, we're going to install or attach the wiring harness to the VTEC controller. So now we'll want to power up the unit so that we can uh, test and verify that everything works before we close, close the unit up. Okay, once you've powered up the unit, you'll notice that the controller begins to show an alternating red and green LED. That indicates that the controller is searching for the thermostat. So it's time to install the thermostat batteries and uh, wake, wake it up. You can see that it's paired. Once it's uh, con communicating, the LED turns green. And now we're ready to uh, provision the thermostat. Now that you have your controller installed on, your, on the PTAC itself, it's time to, to uh, prepare the thermostat for configuration. So what we're gonna do is we want to push the profile from the app into the thermostat to control the unit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start the installation. We'll tap installation. You'll select the pre the profile that you've uh, you programmed before you began. At this point, you'll be able to uh, assign a room number if you would like. And in, in this case, it's it's not necessary. We'll just leave it blank and tap next. For the pin code, the default pin code from the factory is four zeros. Uh, if you changed your pin code, if you chose to change your pin code uh, in your profile, the new pin code would show below, meaning that it's going to change from four zeros to whatever pin code you've assigned to it. Uh, in this case, we're going to leave it as the default and then tap next. And your 
wiring diagram will be displayed. And this is just to verify that you have wired the unit correctly, all, all of your wires match the terminal connections. And you can scroll at the bottom to review each individually. Then tap next. And we're ready to start the program. So I'm gonna tap start and connect your phone to the thermostat. So at this point, we want to pre finish preparing the, the thermostat for installation. So it's go to system settings, tap menu, system configuration, and then tap menu or select again for advanced app, advanced configuration via the app. So we'll tap select and we're ready. Both display, plug the cable in for setup. Now tap next. And yes, select OK. You would like to allow the app to control to communicate over the USB. It's ready to set up. And the profile is being pushed into the device. You'll see setup complete on both screens. Now, setup has been completed and the device will reset and start. So we'll tap done and unplug and you're ready to, to test your unit. Now that you've installed the controller on the PTAC, uh, if you don't happen to have an Android device handy, uh, you can still provision the system using the, the onboard menu for the thermostat. So in order to do that, the first thing you want to do is you want to, of course, the battery's already installed and it's communicating, so you just want to wake the thermostat by tapping any key. And then you want to navigate to standard configuration via thermostat. So I want to select in the system settings, select system configuration, and then use the arrows to navigate to standard configuration via thermostat. Select. So at this point, you can choose if you're installing on a conventional system or a heat pump, you can change it by using the up and down arrows. This happens to be a conventional system that we're connecting to, so I'm gonna select conventional system, which is a one heat, one cool, two fan system. Let's hit select. And we wanna start that configuration. All right. So the, the setup is complete for that. Now we need to go in and set up the occupancy detection. So at this point, you can, you can uh, hit set occupancy, occupancy detection that will turn it on and you'll wanna set the time and date. So at this point, you use the up and down arrows to make adjustments to the year. If you need, hit select. Month is August, today happens to be the 25th. Uh, for time zone, we're in the, I'm in the Pacific time zone, so I'll leave that there. But if you have a different time zone, you can adjust that here by using the up and down arrows. Tap select. And then select the time and date. Now, if it happens to be in the afternoon, this is, it's 9 a.m. Uh, if it's in the afternoon, you want to go to p.m., you'll just adjust your hours and it'll automatically go to p.m. So we're at 9, it is 9.23. Select. Okay, so at this point, you can exit the menu. So navigate to back by using the up and down arrows. Select. Back. Again. And now you want to exit the menu. And at this point, the device will reset and it will begin to control your, your PTAC and it's time to test the unit, so. Okay, so to test your system, you'll tap any key just to wake up, to wake the thermostat. And remember that there's a three minute uh, short cycle protection that will prevent the compressor from engaging for at least three minutes after you uh, have powered up the unit. So we'll test the heat first, just to make sure that everything's functioning. So we'll just crank up the heat. At this point, you can see the thermos, you'll hear the relays in the controller engage the PTAC and you'll see LC in the display, which is for line control. 
If you don't see the LC and you still have controls here, you'll need to go back and verify that your dip switches are in the correct position and then power cycle the unit and try it again. So I can tell and I can feel that I have heat. So now I'll crank the unit back down to a few degrees below ambient. Let's go ahead and go really low. You hear the relays click and the unit goes into cool and I heard the compressor kick in as well. So this unit's ready to, ready to be mounted on the wall and uh, move on to the next. Now that you've tested your PTAC and you know that everything's run, working well, it's time to go ahead and close things up. So the first thing you'll do, I, what I like to do is I like to zip tie the wires to keep them in a nice little bundle. Um, the, the controller itself has installed tape you can remove and mount the controller in this location here. You want to make sure your wires are not dripping down into the drip pan. Now it's time to replace the cover and uh, close the unit. Now that we've replaced the cover, this is what it should look like. Make sure that your wires are not pinched by the cover and it's time to close the unit back up.